the power you have to fight it. Any talking to them indicates that you are not really confident that it could be dealt with and be dealt with seriously. I am pleased to fight for the right to protest as you have declaimed the conference. It's much worse than that. It's the right to work walk purposely down the street, going to buy a pack of cigarettes or at the off license a good centimillio and you may never come back as Mark Govan never came back. Yes. As others have gone come back. I mean when you talk about the police, I want to tell you exactly who you're dealing with. Because for 10 years, I was never not on me, and it was never, ever any accusation of stealing. And this is how I never stole anything. Generally. But for opening my mouth on the rights of black people to enter modern society on the basis of absolute equality, or we would not enter at all. And I perceive it to be one of the last great battles of the West. Now, it is the first institution of that size, power, and range that lost three leaders in about six years. Let me tell you. Ian Blair, he came in at 2005, but 2008 he was gone in disgrace. So Paul Stevenson, 2009 to 2011, he left in this race with his deputy. And uh, no, long, no sooner they walked out of Scotland Yard, there was an avalanche of information that the press was sending to the deputy high commissioner, who is the key, the last one, um, to give his daughter. And she got a job yesterday. I think it's the seller one of the the world. The police have descended into the most barbaric and corrupt institution in human history. And then when I see the latest one comes as chief constable from Merseyside Police, he, he came in in 2011, and somebody mentioned some this is where he experiences it a crook. He must suffer from the same disease. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if you like gambling, take odds, he's going, not going to last two years. So we have an institution for law and order in the capital city of London, and they could not for over the last no more than two years, and they've gone in this race. Sending packets of money, Rebecca. <laughs> you know that's what was happening. So when the police force, for the prosecutor stuff, they're sending money from Murdoch's son and news of the world in huge packs to pay police officers. But for a long time, I knew that the, the police officers at times were operating out of the newsroom of the Daily Mail and the Sun and the rest of them. And I'm not exaggerating. And once you have that kind of institution which has degenerated to substance, watch your back if you're an ordinary citizen going along your merry way one afternoon in Greece. Duggan didn't watch this. <coughs> and he died. <coughs> Mark Duggan was executed. Mm -hmm. The facts are going to come out pretty shortly. I, I wonder if you think I'm exaggerating or anything like that. There was, coming up to Nottingham Carnival, there were two 
huge institutions that the Metropolitan Police boasts. One is Operation Razorback, and one is Operation Trident. Operation Trident are the gunslingers. Operation Razorback, they swarm on you, go to their computers, they find all your names, some of which is wise and tough now, and they look for them, and ban you from coming to the council. And tell us, I was once chairman of the carnival committee, and tell us how he trained in the field. So the Metropolitan Police is the most dangerous institution in this country. And especially when like um, that ball catastrophe and they're not apologizing, they get more dangerous mm. when they are pretending to be country. I have no doubt about that. I have no doubt about that at all. And if we don't even reach the question as to whether they can ban protests and the police have to enforce the ban. We're not there yet. You can't get there. You're on your way to the protest from Tottenham and that student uh, movement demonstration. And they stop you from coming home and turn you back and send you home again. You are not allowed to go there. <coughs> Did you all know that? They were stopping people from coming to demo the demonstration and they got marks in all the alleyways you can pass through to get safe from Tottenham to the western where the demonstration was going and you can't get there to turn you back. A little more. I went to my mini cab the other day in South London, at the main office. And there is a notice from the police which says, in this street, in that street, in that street, in that area, in this catchment area, young people cannot stand together in two or more. So they stop you, they charge you, arrest you, take you to the station and keep you in cell overnight for standing outside the gate of your home for more than five or seven days. You, you, I feel a bit nervous, you know, because however much you go against them, there is always a residue in your mind that Scotland Yard is the best place police office in the world. <laughs> and the British Bobby is the best Bobby in the world. <laughs> and he was not susceptible to taking a packet of money from Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we have reached. That's, that's, and we're heading further down. <coughs> We are heading further down. You see, um, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not delivering a long speech. You see, I, I know this bastard because <laughs> it's nothing to do with policing. It's just to do with brute force. And the last one is Kettling. In On the 9th of August, 1970, I was on one of the organizers of a demonstration in knocking his gate. We started off at four o'clock and I gave a little talk. We have complained to the police about the police and nothing has been done. We have complained to magistrates about magistrates and nothing has been done. We have complained to judges, about judges, and nothing has been done. And brothers and sisters, we gather here this afternoon or all to do to do something for ourselves. <laughs> there were 150 of us in 1917. And we were going to march to each station in the area. 
because you were constantly raiding a decent restaurant called the Mango because you didn't want to go, they didn't want to give the police some money, bribes, you know, to recommend him to get his license. And we went to Notting Hill, I spoke there. We went to uh, Notting Dale, and I spoke there. And we were on our way across the Harrow Road, up Portnell Road, to finish the demonstration at Harrow Road Police Station. And as we were walking up there, suddenly there's this concertina movement from the top, from the back, the police kettled us, <coughs> squeezing us in there, and the fighting took place. And the three months after, I was charged with inciting people to kill police officers with another eight people. The man broke nine trial. The trial lasted 55 days at the old baby, and we won the case on the <laughs> Um, things that you see happening now, they are just resurrection of an old corrupt spirit. If they you believe that uh, they are doing this specially against you now, you lost a sense of history and therefore guidance. Yeah. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, this is one of the last great battles of the West future of the United Kingdom. I look at after their insurrection, made this angry way from Tottenham all through the United Kingdom and remember there were young men shooting at helicopters with pistols, young black boys. <coughs> the, the detail of what has happened over those few days, if you hear it, you must break out in cold sweat. There's a historical period that is finished. They stop and search anybody, not on the basis of reasonable suspicion, your lordship. Which is the basis of a tax bond. They stop you because you are black and that's all. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not crying out for anti-racism, charter. That's the fight of the position. I have a, a grandson, and I said to him, how many times the police search you? He said, 14 times. All for him. And his mom, who loves him dearly, <coughs> said, um, yeah? Now I'm going to finish now. Um, I, I said, You see, I, I, I can't talk for 10 minutes or something. You go. He said, 10 times. And his mother said, um, Once you don't find anything on him, as my wife said, what about the civil rights? That is the issue of our time. Thank you for having me.